Hey guys, welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. I'm excited to be back with you guys on this Tuesday night. Y'all, we back and we talked about Miss Nene Leakes. She is denying those claims of being dropped by her entire team. And then y'all, what the hell is going on with y'all's favorite bloggers? Okay, what's going on with Michelle Brown and Funky Dineva? I mean, the girls are fighting and we got to get into it. So if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get straight into the video. All right, y'all. So let's get straight into the mess. Um, We got to talk about NeNe Leaks, honey. Okay. Because remember we came on here early this morning and we talked about uh, what Love B. Scott exclusively reported talking about NeNe was dropped by her team. And like we said this morning, she was dropped by her PR team, her lawyers, her uh, talent manager, and her talent agency. Well, Nene didn't like those claims, honey, okay? And she's clapping back. She went on to Twitter this morning, and I'll go ahead and put the tweet up on the screen. She said, for all of you that are asking, emailing, inboxing, blogging, reporting, etc., the only statement I have is my team did not let me go, okay? No further statements at this time. So just a comment on this last sentence of this tweet saying no further statements at this time. Y'all, I can almost guarantee you that Nene is going to be on Twitter tomorrow talking about the same old mess. Okay, Nene, your lips ain't chapped, your breath ain't dry, your mouth ain't dry talking about the same old thing day in and day out, right? And my whole thing is, okay, first off, do I believe you, Nene? I don't know. I don't know what to believe, right? Was Nene fired or was, you know, she demoted? Was Nene right about the racism claims and Andy being a racist or was she not? And is she just throwing a temper tantrum? Did her team really drop her or is this all lies? Okay, being spewed by Love B. Scott. Personally, for me, I kind of believe Love B. Scott. I do think her team dropped her. Because if that wasn't the case, Nene, why did you go on Twitter a couple of days ago and call your team out by name? She called out Steven Grossman, who I believe is her talent manager. She called out Darrell Miller, who I believe is her lawyer, and a whole host of other people. Why would you call your own team out if y'all are so tight-knit and if y'all are working together so nicely? Obviously, there is a fracture or a rift in this business relationship, and I have reason to believe Love B. Scott, okay? Shout out to lovebscott.com. I believe the reports that Nene was dropped by all those people. Well, I was doing some scrolling and trolling. Y'all know, minded my business, just scrolling on the blogs. And of course, I came across Funky Dineva, which we're going to get into him a lot later on in the video. But um, he was talking about this whole Nene situation. And he said that he had just got off the phone with a housewife who is currently on the Atlanta franchise. And allegedly, the housewife said that Nene was being very impossible. She was being difficult. She wouldn't go on certain trips. She wouldn't show up to certain scenes, right? Uh, that housewife went on to say that she curses people out behind the scenes. And y'all, we have actual footages of that. There is actual video proof of NeNe Leakes cussing out the producers, right? We know that that's the truth. Why would you expect to be treated nicely by the same people that you cuss out on a daily basis? And then uh, Funky Dineva said that he was talking to a producer and the producer allegedly said that Nene at one point in time just became unproducible. And we know that that's not really a real word, but y'all understand it. Okay, y'all understand that they could no longer, you know, work with Nene. That's how difficult the woman was being. And so I have a feeling that she was being the same way with the talent manager and the talent agency and the lawyers and the PR team and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So definitely let me know what y'all think about the entire situation. Do you guys believe Nene? Okay, do you believe that, uh, you know, this whole Love B. Scott report is fake and that she was not dropped by her team? Or are you like me and y'all believe every word Love B. Scott said in that article? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, you guys, let's get into something that's just a little bit more messy okay can we be a little petty and a little messy for a couple of minutes i know y'all know what i'm talking about what in the hell is going on with y'all's favorite bloggers and youtubers the girls are fighting and i just can't take it no more okay i'm sitting up here watching everybody's youtube video clutching my pearls trying to figure out what is going on like honestly 
I can't keep up with Michelle Brown and her beefs. Years ago, Funky Dineva went to YouTube and uh, started promoting this product. I believe it was a diet supplement or some type of drug that has since been regulated. And apparently you can't get it without a prescription. And promoting such supplements or drugs, of course, is against the YouTube guidelines. Okay, it's against their rules and policies, honey. And so because of that, I guess a machine was just scanning and trolling and scrolling all throughout the YouTube of the algorithms and caught Funky Dineva's old ass YouTube video promoting the supplements from six years ago, which prompted them to terminate his page. Of course, Miss Michelle Brown, okay, everybody's favorite AT alien, went on to YouTube to talk about the situation. I kind of actually felt like she was being a bit empathetic because she would know out of everybody about YouTube accounts being terminated. She's going through it. And so I kind of felt like she was being a little bit, you know, nice about the situation. But then of course, the Petty LaBelle came out. Okay, Michelle's Petty side came out. And y'all, she dragged Funky Dineva from Timbuktu all the way back to Atlanta and then down there to where he lives now in Florida, honey. Okay, like she was not sparing him. She brought up the situation with the townhouse. Okay, she brought up his finances. She brought up the fact that she had to garnish his wages. Like, girl, you ain't even have to do all that. Okay, you did not have to take it there. Brought up the fact that he was on some sort of substances with his shoes off in an alleyway trying to fight people in the Waffle House and throwing, you know, salt and pepper shakers. Right? Now, that was some tea I had no clue about. I'm just looking at the computer screen clutching my invisible pearls like, what the hell is going on? Of course, Funky Dineva's YouTube channel reappeared, okay? I guess he appealed the claims. He came back, and of course, his first video was addressing Miss Michelle. And he was basically like, girl, why are you still talking about me? Like, why are you still bothered about the situation? Why do you continue to spread these lies? Now, I don't know what to believe, right? Because I don't too much know Funky Dineva and I don't too much know Michelle Brown either. I mean, I do like one over the other, okay? I'm not gonna even lie to y'all. But to be honest, is it true that Funky Dineva was on substances trying to fight people in the Waffle House? I don't know. Like that very well could have happened, allegedly. Um, and it could very well be a lie. I don't know who to believe in the situation. But according to Funky Dineva, she's spewing a bunch of lies, okay? She can't get over the situation with the townhouse. She can't get over the situation of Funky Dineva not paying her for her hardwood floors and her, you know, walls and her carpets and things of that nature. I remember when that whole thing, you know, went down. She had did a whole YouTube vlog showing all the damage, showing the matter and the that was all over the carpets. It was a hot ass mess, Okay. I really don't want to take sides in the situation, okay? I really don't even want to be talking about the bloggers, but I just had to mention the situation because it was just too juicy not to. But riddle me this, why is it that everyone is against Michelle Brown, okay? Uh, particularly Armand Wiggins, right? Why is he against Michelle Brown? What is his issue with Michelle Brown? Why is Jason Lee against Michelle Brown from Hollywood Unlocked. I was uh, on Clubhouse one day because the only person that I pretty much follow on there is Jason Lee. And y'all, they brought up one messy, messy person to the stage and they asked about Michelle Brown. And of course, Funky Dineva, you know, was being very classy about the situation, saying she doing her and I'm doing me. And then T.S. Madison had a whole speech about the situation. And then, of course, you just got Jason Lee and Armand Wiggins just going in on the poor lady. And so you got Armand Wiggins, Jason Lee, Funky Dineva, T.S. Madison, okay, all going against Michelle Brown. What did this lady do to y'all? I'm just a little bit confused about the situation. Like, I know T.S. Madison had some legal troubles with Michelle, and I know they went to court and things of that nature. And I kind of had to stop watching Michelle. Well, I did stop watching her because she said a lot of disparaging things about T.S. Madison. And it was kind of making me feel some type of way how she was, you know, misgendering and doing this, that, and the third. And you guys, I'm not going to take sides. I'm not going to take sides. I know T.S. Madison has said a lot of disparaging things. And in return and vice versa, Michelle Brown has said a lot of problematic things. 
But my only one question is, why are all of these bloggers who are specifically a part of the LGBTQIA++ community against Michelle Brown? Riddle me that. Hmm. Okay. So let me know what y'all think about the entire situation. It is messy. And uh, y'all, if they want to keep going back and forth on YouTube, that's fine with me. I will be tuned in getting my entire life. I'm going to wrap it up right here. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll be back a little later. Love you. And don't forget to create a great day.